Hey everyone, my name is Miss Lorena, and for today's Tales for Twos, can you guess what we're going to be reading about? Can you see what's up here? Those are cats. Also, there's a little friend here that wants to play. Can you see that little tail? It's starting to wag. It's Mr. Whiskers here. And we're gonna start off with our hello song. If you can remember from last time, it goes, well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose, touch your nose. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. We'll do ears next. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your ears? Touch your ears, touch your ears. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your ears? Touch your ears. And we'll do mouth. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your mouth? Touch your mouth, touch your mouth. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your mouth? Touch your mouth. And last, let's say clap your paws. Can you clap your paws? Good job. Well, hello everybody, can you clap your paws? Clap your paws, clap your paws. Well, hello everybody, can you clap your paws? Clap your paws. Good job, thank you so much. All right now, I'm gonna sing a little rhyme here and it goes soft kitty warm kitty little ball of fur happy kitty sleepy kitty purr 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 all right now mr whiskers is going to sit over here very nicely for story time here we go and these five cats here, they're five little cats. If you want to count with me, one, two, three, four, and five. Five little cats playing near the door. One ran inside, and that left how many? You can count with me. One, two, three, four, it left four. Four little cats underneath a tree. One heard a dog bark and that left. You heard a dog bark and it left. Let's count. One, two, three little kitties. Three little cats wondering what to do. One saw a little bird and that left. We'll count. One, two, that left two. Two little cats sitting in the sun. One ran to catch his tail and that left. One. One little cat looking for some fun. He saw a butterfly and then there were none. Good job. All right, now I want you to get those arms and I want you to stretch them up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Because my kitten stretches both paws high to reach the sky. Then says, what does a cat say? It says, meow and turns around and folds her paws. Can you fold your paws nicely? And sits right down because it's time for some stories. And this is called How to Give Your Cat a Bath in Five Easy Steps. Do you think it's easy to give a cat a bath? We'll see. How to give your cat a bath in five easy steps. 
Step one, fill the bathtub with warm water. There is the cat. That's too much water. Oops. Okay, step one. Put a little warm water in the bath. This much? There's not much in there. <sighs> All right, step one. Again, put a little warm water in the bath. The water should come up to your cat's knees. Cats have knees? Step two. Put your cat in the... Wait, where's the cat? Oh, Mr. Flea! Mr. Flea, where are you? Don't you want to be clean? Have you found Mr. Flea yet? Can you find Mr. Flea anywhere in here? I can't find him anywhere. Maybe we should start again. Step one, find your... Step one, have some milk and cookies. That sounds good, doesn't it? You will need some energy. Now where's Mr. Flea? There he is. Fine. Step one, have some milk and cookies. Oh, there he goes. He's going for the milk and cookies. Step two, find your cat. All right, so she found Mr. Flea. It's on to step three. Put your cat in the... Hold on. Is the water still warm? Ooh, I think it's cold. <clears throat> step four. Hold your cat in one arm and turn on the tap with your other. Mr. Flea, wait! He keeps running away. Step five, chase your cat down the stairs. Step six, run back to the bathroom. I thought you said there were only five steps. Step six, run. Step seven, turn off the water. Uh oh. Step eight, Mop the floor. Step nine, fine. Step nine, have another cookie. Step 10, find your cat. <sighs> Again. What's he doing? How to give your cat a bath in one easy step. Step one, sit quietly while your cat licks himself clean. The end. All right. This other little story is called Stack the Cats. Let's see how they do. One cat sleeps. Two cats play. Three cats stack. Four cats teeter. Five cats totter. Six cats prefer Two stacks of three cats. Seven cats nap. Eight cats try, but
But what do you think happens when they're all stacked up? Let's see. <gasps> Eight cats tumble! Nine cats agree to three, three, and three. Ten cats are just too many. So, one cat sleeps. Two cats climb up and away. Two cats hide, and two cats seek. And three cats stack. How will you stack the cats? The end. All right, now I have one little game for you and then one more story. Now, do you remember my shapes from last time? Here they are, it's the pink square, a yellow circle, a green rectangle, a blue square or triangle, a red heart and an orange oval. All right, now my little cat has hidden somewhere behind one of these shapes. Could you help me find my little cat? Where should we look first? Which shape would you like for me to pick? Should we try the orange oval? Let's see what's behind the orange oval. No, my cat is not there. Oh, where, oh, where can my little cat be? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Let's try the green rectangle. No, he's not behind the green rectangle. Where, oh, where can my little cat be? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Should we try the yellow circle? Let's try the yellow circle. No. Where, oh, where can my little cat be? Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Do you think he's behind? The blue triangle? Should we try the blue triangle? Let's see. There he is. Thank you so much for helping me find my little cat. All right, it's time for one last story. And this is called, This Book Just Stole My Cat. Oh no, doesn't sound good. Ben and his cat were playing tickle and chase across the page when, something very odd happened. Can you see what's happening? Ben's cat disappeared. Hello, Ben. You look like you've lost something, said Bella. This book just stole my cat. I've seen things go missing in here before, said Bella. I'll take a peek. But Bella disappeared too. Meow, meow, meow. How quick.
quickly arrived to begin a search and rescue mission. Then vanished. What's Ben going to do? The search wasn't going very well at all. I'll just have to do the rescuing myself, thought Ben. But, ah, choo! Now everybody, except for a book tickling fluffy mouse, was missing. A little while later, a message appeared. It read, Dear reader, can you please help rescue us? This book seems to sneeze when it's tickled. So here are some instructions for you. One, wiggle your tickling fingers to get them all warmed up. Can you wiggle your tickling fingers? Good job. Two, tickle the book in here. While counting, tickly one, tickly two, tickly three. Then turn the page. Ready? Let's tickle the book. Tickly one, tickly two, tickly three. Achoo! And tickle here, and here, and here. Then please turn the page again. Ready? Tickly one, tickly two, tickly three. Let's turn the page. Achoo! Whew. Terrific tickling! Thank you, said Ben. Everybody was rescued. And everything got back to normal. Well, almost everything. Dear Tickler, would you be so kind as to tell this naughty book to let my cat down before you read it again? Thank you, Ben. Me feeding my cat. The end. All right. So that is the end of our story time, and I will do a goodbye song if you want to clap. We clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing goodbye. Let's stomp our feet. And we stomp and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing goodbye. And we'll wave. And we wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing goodbye. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again next week.